Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back Come on in Have a sit down Grab yourself a nice cup of tea or a cup of coffee Personally I'm a coffee man Relax and let me take you through this speed build You would have seen a lovely cinematic which I made personally at the beginning of this video Obviously I made it Who else is going to make it? It's my video But yeah um, So you would have got the gist of what we're doing today in this speed build and I wanted to build kind of like a, a tropical island, like a really small tropical island which it comes across quite modern and fresh and I didn't want to overcomplicate things as well. Um, a lot of times uh, people, if it's on the workshop or it's on YouTube itself or, um, or, or, or photos in Reddit, anything like that, People tend to overcomplicate builds, and people are like, "Wow, how did you how did you build that? I could never pull something like that off." Um, so I wanted to give something what could be done quite easily. So, right? How can I put this? Something what's simple but effective. That's the the slogan I'm working for. That I'm looking for. Simple but effective. So I wanted something what the average person could build could build quite quickly and would look really effective really natural and really beautiful in any zoo and that's why I decided on the circular theme um, if you don't know how to do the circular theme there's many tutorials on YouTube um, about it but basically I'll give you a brief rundown you place a path you set it to 15 degrees um, rotational angle you rotate it 15 degrees and you just follow it around just keep rotating it and then join it up in the end it's as simple as that I dug out the outside because I wanted it like a tropical island so I yeah I dug out the outside I added water um, it gives it re a really nice effect I think here you can just see me making some of the terrain flat and the reason we did that is to add the habitat gate the habitat gate is going to go there so our zookeeper, well the zookeeper needs to be able to come into the ha habitat for starters so that's why we put that flat bit there habitat gate because the zookeeper has no problems getting into our habitat to feed our lovely animal obviously this is quite a small habitat um, so this will suit what goes in the small habitat let's have a think so we're looking at warthogs, aardvarks, tortoises, small animals like that what don't require enough space this is a perfect habitat for them so I decided to place rocks all around uh, the edge of our habitat as the barrier instead of using a prefabricated barrier or even a custom barrier I just wanted to use uh, the foliage rocks in this case to give a more natural um, island tropical kind of theme to it So as you can see, I'm just placing them all around. Um, what I do at the front as well is I, I style up the rocks a little bit. I move stuff around a little bit. And I create a little like viewing point, like the main viewing point for our guests. The guests are already going to have a pretty much 360 view around this habitat because the rocks are so low. So I'm trying to set out now the kind of like entrance not entrance building like the habitat uh, entrance area for our zookeepers so I the plaster I love it. if you followed any of my builds any of my videos or anything in the workshop you know that building tropical modern theme is what I do and it's what I enjoy doing in this game I don't know why it just is so I use the plaster there and I which I always do use recolor it's a bright white think it's the most modern and most clean thing you can use in this type of build uh, I just duplicated the rocks just then and rotated them to fit on the other side nice and easy to do and now here begins the struggle with the water level um, I had to pull this out a bit because well I just wanted to get the water level right I didn't want it to dip down I wanted it to be on top but I didn't want it to come over the actual terrain itself
Now, I toyed around with the idea of putting like a custom fence at the front here. So I started getting plaster pieces out. And this is what happens, like, you, sometimes you might have a plan of what you want to build, but sometimes you just got to freestyle it. And I did have a plan, and then I ended up freestyling it. So it might be a bit of both, you know? But you just got to see what works with, with it, try different things out. Like I said, I was about to build plaster all around the edges and have it as a barrier. And it, to me, that wouldn't have worked. So I just go with the whole rock theme all the way around. I mean, if we look at it now, it's actually starting to look quite decent and I've hardly done any work to it. So for it to look this good with hardly any work done is quite an accomplishment. Um, so the glass pieces. I decided to add the glass pieces into the rock to create a natural barrier. I do this a lot in a lot of my builds, especially the tropical themed modern ones. And I think it's an effect what really works and, and really looks good. Give it a try in, in your habitat building and let me know how you get on with it. If you don't already do this kind of building, of course. So yeah, just placing glass, it, it like it's coming out of the rock, inserted and built into the rock all the way around the edge for the main viewing platform. Just making sure they all line up and there's no gaps and they're rotated correctly. decided to put these bigger rocks on each end so it looks more like the glass is built into the rocks and looks more like it's like a statement like this is the main viewing area for this habitat So just trying to smooth out the edges of the terrain here. Really important to do, ladies and gentlemen. If you just if you just use the smooth tool and smooth out all the edges, the the edges will look more natural, less jagged. So just placing our habitat gate here. Null barriers all the way around the edges where our rocks are. Again, I'm just trying to smooth out the terrain near the front here because there's a little ditch. Adding the water back in. You've got to play around with this kind of stuff. When you're working with water and terrain in this game, you really got to fiddle around and play around with it to try to get it look, to look as good as this. So just added the wood. I go for this kind of wood. I love this uh, wood. I think it's the New World wood wall if i'm not correct correct me down in the comment section if i'm wrong but yeah something on the lines of new world wood wall piece um, i decided to add that because i think that looks the most modern and looks the most um well it's my favorite wood piece anyway you can use different wood pieces that's just the one i like to use in my builds so i decided to go for advax if you didn't already figure it out and yeah i love the advax i really I think they're really cute animal and I think an advert works perfect in this kind of environment and this kind of habitat. They don't really need a lot of space. Which works good because we don't have a lot of space in this habitat. Now just fast forwarding. Waiting for our lovely zookeepers to drop off our animals. I really wanted to test the animals in it. Make sure they had enough space. Make sure they could um, access the water and stuff like that. And then skip forward a little bit and we are in 
well we're not in we're getting into the uh, the last bit of the build here now and as you can see I've built up the wood pieces to make like a little a little hut slash den for the animals and for when the zookeeper comes in decided to add these new world pieces these new world pieces most of the new world stuff is what I enjoy building with and these new world um, I don't know the exact exact name but it's like a metal um, canopy kind of piece I think it's like a, a I think it, that's actually called a window cover or a door cover uh, but yeah I love this piece I, add, I tend to add foliage to it which I've done here um, so it's like seeping through the holes of the piece seeping oh I hate that word why did I say that word seeping Ugh. don't know what it is about that word but it just goes through me it makes me shiver <laughs> anyway sorry for ranting on but that's what I tend to do so as you can see the foliage the hanging kind of like hanging gardens roof like like the the trees and the foliage is taking over the building that's the kind of vibe I wanted to go with again very tropical but with the wood and the plaster that we've used um, also looking very modern it also makes the actual building here at the, at the back where the zookeeper <coughs> excuse me I've got a horrible cough today so where the zookeeper actually comes in it makes it look um, more like hidden away for the animals and, and a, bit, a little bit more private when you add a lot of foliage especially to the front where we had those hanging ones as you can see in the middle there I've added the um, the food box for the aardvark as like the centerpiece and now I'm just going around our rocks and I would advise doing this because it makes the rocks m look more natural and pop out more more eye, eye standing um, eye standing is that a word outstanding eye catching I that's what I'm thinking of eye catching uh, just go around the edge place a, a few um, a few plants into the rocks and around the rocks sink them into the rocks making the rocks look more natural decided to add some foliage to the actual habitat itself here again we want to stick with our tropical theme so I decided what's more tropical than a palm tree we're going to add a palm tree I love this palm tree I don't know what it is about this palm tree this is my favorite palm tree in the game uh, and probably in real life the kind of palm trees what go up like that it really reminds me of somewhere very tropical like the Bahamas or uh, you know or Jamaica or something like that New world post going in, keeping with the modern theme. Love this post again. Like I said, my favourite parts. Most people who play Planet Zoo, their favourite parts are like the tropical. I mean, not the tropical, the African or the Asian or, or you don't know, like the continent um, themed parts. Mine's all the modern new stuff for some reason. I don't know why. It just is. Just adding what the aardvarks need now. Adding their food, they've got to eat, they've got water, so I don't need to add water. Again, I'm just adding the um, the New World post um, to give it a more constructural feel to the front of the viewing area. Um, it looks like it's built for purpose then, it looks like, like I said earlier, it gives a statement, this is the main viewing area to look at our lovely aardvarks. And it still looks like it's integrated and built into the rocks at the same time, which is a win-win. Now adding the lights. I was debating whether to add lights because a lot of people don't actually add lights to their builds. And I seem to always do. And I mean, they have a point by not adding them. Because most people play during the day 
in this game so why would you add lights simple as that I prefer adding lights and I I really like how it turns out I will I will skip into real time at the end of this video show you everything I've added give you a little tour of the zoo and I'll show you what the habitat um, looks like with the lights added and it does add lovely effects now what I'm doing just here is I'm adding these bulb lights I think they're out, out of the arctic pack to the palm tree and I've never done this before this is a new thing for me and I think it turns out looking really good and really nice uh, it was a bit fiddly to line up against the actual like back of the tree but I think we got there in the end so ladies and gentlemen I'm going to shut up for only a couple of minutes unfortunately you'll only have peace and quiet for the next couple of minutes and then I will see you when the build is finished give you a little tour show you what it looks like with the lights off so yeah I'll see you in a couple of minutes
so that is our speed build pretty much done and finished hope you enjoyed it I'm gonna run through um, a couple of things what I added since you last saw and yeah I'm just run through the build with you basically so press G to turn my user interface off oh, we've got guests in now they look taking selfies for some reason love a good selfie next to an aardvark habitat but yeah so at the front we've got our rocks and built in the rocks we've got the glass and the modern pillars I wanted to go with um, a modern theme like I've already said and tropical so yep so they can view in there come round there's a couple of benches there's one of our um, our lovely staff members heading to our habitat by the looks of things probably to feed them um, little not eating sign there as you can see donation boxes are down ready to bring in that money and yeah I'm really happy with this build what I've added since it left off is these pillars and this kind of like what would you call it a canopy canopy shelter I don't know you, I think you know what I mean anyway um, so I've added these new beams these new world beams added the hexagon is it a hexagon? How many sides does a hexagon have? Leave a comment below how many sides a hexagon has. I don't know if that's a hexagon or a pentagon. Anyway, I added that. That <laughs> big piece of glass. Uh, added loads of lights. I'll show you in a minute with the lights off how the whole habitat um, is lit and looks. It looks really nice. Uh, yeah, so they can go under here and chill out. Let's press play. They can go under there and get the grub and chill out. Um, under here is where they will probably sleep there's a little bed from here only one bed so they'll just have to cuddle up and keep warm I suppose well it is Africa so they'll need to keep warm do they we are in an African continent oh it's coming in our keeper feed our aardvarks yep it's a little um, is that a feeder or a scratching pole there yep I will just take you to this side there's the gate integrated into the building so I can keep can get in like you saw um, Advax have got everything they need. They have, I was worried about them having um, not enough space, but everything's fine. They've got enough space. They are all happy little Advax. Uh, right, night time. That's what I was going to do, wasn't it? I'll show you at night time now. I'll just pause it. As you can see, we've got all the lights all around the edges, sunken into the rocks got these little um, lamps sunken right down into the rocks as well or oh, education board lighting up things a little bit um, lights around the little canopy uh, we've got red lights in here for the animals just make it feel more realistic that's what you would have in inside um, a little habitat where they would sleep I suppose and finally my favorite part is um, these lights I love putting these um, like bulbs individual bulbs Onto, I think this is part of the Arctic Pack. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section if I'm wrong or right. I think it's part of the Arctic Pack. But yeah, if you just align these to a palm tree, it gives off a lovely effect. I mean, look at that. If I do sort of say, say so myself, this is looking quite beautiful. And yeah, so that's everything. Let's turn it back to day now and end this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on it, it helps me a lot, comment down below, any questions, I'll get back to you as soon as you can, subscribe if you're not already, and like I always say, my name's Adam, and peace out. <laughs>